right now we're going to start out with the musicians of Malwick. I'm Ann Perillo, and uh, we're talking with Ann Marie Schwartz. She's the director of the musicians of Malwick. Great music. Oh, just wonderful. Cla it's classical, but oh, how, how would you say? Well, we're historic. We're telling history historical through music. I exactly. Think, and you've done plays and things. Operas, yes. Right. And with her, she's brought a very special guest, Florence Vlad, who just returned from Italy last night. Oh, my God. I think he's in, in maybe a little bit in jet lag, so we'll excuse anything you say, <laughs> Florence. And uh, he's a ballroom dancer, and they, he is one of the owners of Dance Fire Studio, which is in Schenectady. They have a wonderful dance floor there and teach all kinds of lessons. But he will be doing, you're doing the Viennese Waltz, is that it? Yes, we're going to be performing with my wife, the Viennese Yeah, Waltz. Natalia. Natalia. Yeah, yes. she's a beautiful woman. Oh, you're, I yeah. love her. And you look so good. And we got a photo of the two of you <laughs> and how fabulous you look. So this is leap year coming up every right. four years. Right, right. So you picked a good year to do it. It seems appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> what it is, it's also Musicians of Malik's 20th yes, anniversary. Yeah. So we wanted to Happy have anniversary. Something. Thank you very yeah. much. Um, we wanted to have something very special to do for this year. It's a real landmark. And we thought a Viennese ball would be a wonderful way to celebrate this anniversary. And I love the Viennese ball. Oh, yes. my. It looks so gliding around there. Oh, it well, is, anyway, it is. It's so pretty. It's a beautiful dance, and I spent some time playing in an opera orchestra in Austria and fell in love with the Viennese Waltz when I was much younger. Yes, and <laughs> you're a dancer, too. I must say, Anne Marie Schwartz is also a dancer, Not ballroom a dancer. Line. Yeah, <laughs> but you are. But I enjoy it very Everybody much. Everybody has to start somewhere. We do. <laughs> and uh, so I fell in love with the Viennese Waltz and the whole concept of the Viennese Ball when I was in Austria. And I've kind of been waiting to have a chance to do something of that scale here. And so this was the perfect year to combine it with Leap Year on a very special day. Our venue is 90 State Street, which right. is really a palatial kind of It venue. is. It's an amazing oh, uh, facility, it's yeah. 50-foot like columns and crystal chandeliers and marble, you know, in the floor, on the ceiling. It's, it's just amazing. So if you'll it's carry You're in today, Vienna. We're in Vienna. Yes. And why well, travel to Vienna? When you, uh, when you can be right, right here. Right? Let's take a look at some of the photos, if we can, uh, Dan. Uh, I think the, one of them, well, we'll show the me your, your flyer. I, I took that from what you mailed me. Sure. And then it shows the meals and uh, things after that. Um, but we also have a photo of... Um, and you have quite a menu. Oh, oh who, now, who is go. that? <laughs> I mean, is that phenomenal? That's Florin and Natalia. Yes. Oh sir. my gosh, they are wonderful dancers. If if you to go to hear the music is one thing, but to see the dancing as well. Now, you've brought a, another special person mm -hmm. here. So this is Emily Savoy. Emily grew up in Schenectady, and she's from a really nice, fancy family. Tom Savoy was the organist that. Yanka Conception for many years, and her mom was a professional singer. Emily's singing at the Met now. And not too shabby. Not too shabby, and you've had her on the show. If you remember, I know. she was my lead in The Four Soldiers. Yeah, I remember The Four Soldiers. And yeah. so she's coming we up. We were downstairs at the time. I think. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so she's coming up. She's living in North Carolina right now, and we were married. And so she is performing music of Lehar, very appropriate, My right. Merry Widow, and also of some German tango. And it's going to be a great dinner. German so tango. I didn't tango. know. Yeah, that sounds like an oxymoron. Yeah, it does. I mean, it's like <laughs> I think of waltzes and things, but not tangos. I'm Maybe thinking more tangos passion. And <laughs> we did tangos from the early 30s. Uh -huh. And we found they're really, really nice. And it was actually Emily's suggestion to do them both of them perfectly. And Wonderful. Florin and Natalia are dancing to a Romanian waltz. Yes. Vanavici. Yes. From the yes. 1880s. And the, I'm very excited about that because I looked for something that would perfectly with them, and I think you yes. got it. Now, yeah. now, who's going to, now the music, usually ballroom dancers use like a CD because they're practiced to it and everything. Will you be using that, or will mm -hmm. they be playing? No, actually, we're this time very, very honored to be able to play to live music um, played by uh, the musicians of Malwick. And we will That's what I wanted we'll to be know. performing a specially made routine to fit this song, and actually, there were a few times we performed on uh, on uh, live music. One of them was in Blackpool for the oldest. Oh, that's dance. in England. Oh, yeah, that's, in England. that's yeah. one of the big, big yes, competitions. the biggest dance competitions in the world. In so, the world, uh, like you said, not many places they have 
uh, they have uh, live music. Right, right. And just to be able to perform to live music, it will be a real treat for us as well. Yeah, amazing. You know, there's a synergy when there's live and electronic music. It's different than when it's Oh, absolutely, music. absolutely. Unexpected things happen yeah. sometimes. Yes. <laughs> tempo Fortunately, the tempo <laughs> stays. I have no <laughs> doubt that the tempo <laughs> will be perfect we because we're talking best. about, you know, professional uh, <laughs> Just so you don't have here. to do a quick step in the middle of it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So, so how can people get tickets to this? Mm-hmm. And, and are you, do you still have tickets available? Because this is going to be a sellout, it seems. We're, we're hoping to get a very good crowd for this. And, of course, even if you don't like to dance, it's the spectacle of the evening. You can watch all these dancing. You're hearing it. be great Strauss waltzes all the evening. You get to see the show. I mean, there are going to be some men floating around who might be available to <laughs> us. <laughs> so it's a really... You never nice, know. You never know. And also... Florin and Natalia are offering uh, women's golf lessons at their studio. We are nice. Yes. And you can pay, uh, my husband and I are offering less high quality lessons. I shouldn't say high quality. Well, you have, to start, so you have to start somewhere. But we're at the University Club in Albany. So if you don't know how to dance or you want to brush up on your skills, you can go to their studio. You can come to us or any of the dance studios. You can get ready. Sit down, get your tail, and have a great experience. Exactly. Now, Florin, we, uh, just to mention, you're located in Miskiuna, the yes. dance studio. You have a lovely facility. I've been over there. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Anne Marie. We try to we try to really be involved in the in the community in every every way we can, and being able to be part of this this great event, the Shalt uh, Shaltyar uh, Ball. And you said it so good. I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, give me a high five on that one. <laughs> yes, it's 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 another another. Uh, great chance to to expose our, our of course our studio, but also uh, also encourage more and more people to get involved with dance because it is it is really um, in my opinion it's a great activity for people of all ages to to you, try to do. You can do that the, your entire life. Exactly. I mean, you may not be doing the Charleston, but you might be doing you know a little slower dance or something like that. Absolutely. But Absolutely. It, but uh, I think we forget that dance is an exercise. It oh, is indeed, is. yes. I think it's one of the best because it's every part of your body. Yeah. It's not just doing crunches or running. It's every part, and it's so enjoyable. I, I was going to say, <laughs> who doesn't like music and movement? I mean, I love it. You know, it's, right. a, it's great. Yes. So yeah. tickets are still available, and you can get them by going on our website or by calling our phone number or talking to me. <laughs> okay, good. So please uh, support the musicians of Malwick. They are a wonderful group. I, I've heard them, and I, you will not be disappointed by just sitting there and letting that music flow over you, into you, and all around you, right? And, of course, to see Florin and Natalia, that is a very special night. And to hear Emily Savoy as well, what better night could you plan on? And, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up. Get your tickets and enjoy, right? That's good. And we didn't say the date. When is the date of that? So it's February 29th. Would that be leap year? I think it would be. Okay, good. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we will be talking with the Albany Civic Theater. They're doing American Soldiers. Let's find out what that play is about. Stay tuned.